Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are going to be no hitting Elden Ring with an incredible Karian Knight build that is absolutely broken and I want to show you how to use it, guys. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we go to fight the bosses. This is pretty much an strength intelligence build. We are going to be using Adeon strength and Adeon intelligence and we need 33 points on Fate to be able to cast Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriri to get the max damage of this build. The reason why I'm using these stats is to get the highest benefit of the scale's values on my weapon. As you can see, I try to use all these spells in order to get a, a variety build, but they are pretty bad. The only one that I recommend you to use if you are a wild person, a person that likes to play aggressive, is the Carrion Slicer. That one is really good, but I didn't use it because I was trying to get a very powerful attack with the skill of the weapon. There is one spell here that is very important, and that is Terra Magica. That one will boost our magic attack by a lot as long as we are in the area where we cast the spell. Remember that you can optimize the stats of the build as you like so you can put more vigor to feel more comfortable and cut a little bit the other stats. I will recommend you to cut the points on a strength because we are going to be using mostly magic damage but it's up to you. Our main weapon is going to be of course the Carrion Knight Sword on plus 10 and our main source of damage is going to be the Ashur War Carrion Grandeur which is the default skill of this weapon. Why I'm using this one instead of using the Ashur War that you can apply to any other weapon? The reason why is that the weapon looks amazing and it's a little bit faster than the Ash of War version that we can apply in other weapons. And if you watch the stats of the weapon, you will see that there is not that much damage in our scale values, but trust me, it's going to be awesome. We have the commander's standard as an optional buff, but you have to adjust the build a little bit. If you don't want to make a lot of troubles with the build, just use Golden Bow and Hall of Shabriri. They are pretty powerful and Golden Bow lasts a lot longer than this one. We can use any stuff we have, but the best one is the Azure's Glintstone staff to cast the spells way faster. The Twinbird Kite Shield is an extra buff that you can add in order to boost your damage a little bit when you are below your 20% of your total HP. So this item is not for everyone, it's just for those that want to get the max damage of the build. And we will need any seed we have to cast Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri. The main armor set for this build is the Carrion Knight set. But if you want the highest damage on your build, then you should use the Spellblade set. I didn't use this one a lot because I didn't like the style, but it's the best if you want more damage because it will boost your damage in a total of 8% if you use all the pieces of the armor set. And for the very first time we are going to use this specific set of talismans, we are not going to switch anything, we are not going to have multiple options. This is the best set of talismans except for the Red Feathered Branch Orb, that if you don't want to play under 20% of your total max HP, then you should go for the Ritual Sword Talisman to play with your full HP bar and with 40 or 90 Vigor. The Magic Scorpion Charm will boost your magic damage by 12%, the Shard of Alexander will boost the skills, and the Godfrey Icon will boost the charge spells and skills, so this one is very good for us right now. For the Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to mix the Magic Shrouding Crack Tear and the Stone Barb Crack Tear, but if you want, instead of using the stone barb crack tier, you can use the dexterity knot to be able to use the commander's standard buff but as you can see it's a very complicated stuff and if you don't want to tweak the build a lot then you should go with the stone barb crack tier, and you will break some enemies stance with ease now that we have properly known our build what do you say if we go with all the boss fights Nice. <laughs> I did it so bad, but it worked. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that's some real damage right there, bro. Nice. Dude, <laughs> I think this was this was too much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> that thing didn't hit me, bro! Oh my god!
you believe the way to kill her, bro? No shot, man. This is ridiculous. Wow, it worked. It's one of the worst strategies I have ever imagined, but it worked. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Very beautiful. <laughs> nice. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it. Nice! <laughs> Let's go, baby. That was clean. Let's go. <laughs> Good job, Morgan. Let's go. Boom. Let's go. I think it's one of the hardest weapons against the fire giant. But if I am honest, it's very complicated to use all the stuff at the same time. You nice. Wait, you still alive, bro? Come on. Yes. Nice. It's over. <sighs> I wanted to do it better, but these guys are just annoying. I wasn't even looking at him, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. That's the crazy part. I was chilling here and BAM! Oh my god, you... <laughs> Why are these bosses so bad, bro? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, if that extra hit was necessary, but I did it. It's a, a little bit uncomfortable to play with Terra Magica.
It was so simpler than I thought, bro. <laughs> I just had to spam the skill, bro. <laughs> well. What are you sleeping? Oh, this guy's awake. No way. Sleep again. No, what? Yeah, this thing. Too many stuff, bro. Two, and now the full one. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> that was beautiful, bro. <laughs> Twice. Oh, it didn't count as, as, a, uh, as a heavy one. Yeah, but I managed to get through here. Nice. I'll, I will deal another one before he runs. Nice, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is very good. That's a nice damage before the second phase. I'll cast this quickly. Wow, that didn't connect. He's running now. He's okay, he's okay, he's running. Please don't be stupid. Ooh. I don't know how I didn't <laughs> get killed there. Boom. Nice. No, 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 no. Oh my god. My stamina is so bad in this build, I don't know why. If I have, I have a lot of endurance. Nice. Let's do it cool. We have time. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why I'm still alive. Oh no, we're going to fight here, bro. No way. Or maybe? Oh yeah, definitely. Nice. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Beautiful, guys. Please. <laughs> the HP bar appeared empty already, bro. Oh, it worked, bro. That was the strategy there. <laughs> nice.
Let's go, guys. Come on. <laughs> it was so hard against this guy, dude. I even had to use the spell blade set. It's horrible. Please do your charge, bro. Nice. Oh, what? Oh, nice. Oh, the first one was so wild, man. <laughs> No way. Well, that was cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that, that was better though. <laughs> That's why I didn't restart the fight. I was like, mm, it might be good. <laughs> if he does that, I won't. I will not reach her. No, I'll try to use this one. Oh, nice. I'm bearing, I'm being very lucky. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was very stupid. late but I'll take it this is very nice this is good goodbye nice Nice, it was a good fight. Yeah, I'll keep this one. The first phase was a little bit silly, but this second phase was consistent. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> and that's pretty much the build, guys. We have successfully completed the game using this Karyan Knight OP build that I have to say is very, very powerful, but as well as one of the most difficult builds I have ever tried. I struggled with a lot of bosses that I feel like I dominate a lot and I really spent a bunch of hours creating this, uh, this video but it was really fun. The only thing that I really don't like about this build is the stance damage because the skill does a decent amount of stance damage but the problem is that the skill is very slow and the weapon doesn't deal a significant amount of stance damage and you have to be very smart when you are trying to control a boss fight and using the stomach character because it feels like you are not dealing enough stance damage in some scenarios. In general, the build is pretty OP, but I strongly recommend you to play with high vigor with this one because I died a lot this time. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That way you support me a lot. Have a great day, guys. My name is Carlos and I'll see you in the next one.